Hey there folks, hey this is Joe Azu here. Hey in this video I'm going to show an updated version of how you can do redline communications from one redline device to another using uh, what we used to call the OPC UA uh, link like thing, actually an OPC connection. Now it's called C3 link in Crimson 3.2. So let me show you this example. Uh, here I've got a DA70 that I'm playing with and I've got a number of internal tags, nothing special. But this configuration, the DA70 is going to be the C3 server. It's going to serve these tags up to allow some other redline device to get to them. So in this case, if I go over here to communications on the left, and if I slide all the way down into the service section, <clears throat> there's a thing there called the C3 link. So I'm going to go ahead and enable the C3 link here. Uh, I'll leave the port number 790. Might change the session limit to four. Default is two. I'll do four. And that's it. What this should do is this should take the tags from this database and allow them to be available to another Redline product to get to them. So let me save this program. I'm going to save it. And I'm going to open up another instance of Crimson 3.2. <clears throat> so I'll go here. And let's see here. <clears throat> All right, so here's another instance of Crimson 3.2. Let's pretend that this happens to be a graphite HMI. Maybe I've got a, a Geo 7 graphite. So we'll pick a Geo 7. <clears throat> Perfect. Um, you know, the one thing I didn't do is uh, if I go back to this other database uh, in device configuration on the DA70, your Ethernet 1 is set up as DHCP. Ethernet 2 has that default address. So we'll just pretend that's the default address. We'll leave that alone. Let me go back to the new one I'm playing with here. All right, so here I am on this new one, and I'll set up Ethernet 1, and maybe I'll set it up to be uh, 192.168.222.123, for instance. Something like that. I don't need the gateway. We'll get rid of that. All right, <clears throat> that should put it on the same network. And in this case, if I go over here to communications on the HMI version, remember, I want to make this set up as a client to talk to the DA70, which is acting as a server. So I'm going to click on protocol here on the HMI, <clears throat> hit the pick button for the driver. And in this case, I'm going to go uh, down to C3 link right here. I'm going to pick C3 link. So in this case, the HMI is going to be the master of the client and the DA70 is the slave or server. So I'll go ahead and do that. I'll click OK. Now, if you look over here, you can see this, this HMI1. I'm going to go ahead and rename this right now. I'm just going to call it DA70 underscore 222. I'm picking that 222 because the IP address of that unit is actually going to be 192.168.222.222. Whoops. There it is. That's the same IP address that I set up that's already set up on the DA70 and Ethernet 2. So that's okay. All right. <clears throat> now here's the cool part. You see right here where it says file name. So I'm going to hit the browse button here. And I got to go find where I saved that DA70. And this is it right here. There's today's date. That's that program. I'll hit open right there. Boom. All right. That brings in that file, but it hasn't really done anything here yet. Uh, brings it in. That's about all it's did here. So now I'm going to go over here to data tags. And I'm going to go ahead and create a couple tags here. I'll do a numeric tag. And I'll call this tag underscore one. Notice team, let me make this a little bigger so you can see it. Notice that it's blue because it's internal. It's not mapped to anything. So if I go here to the internal pull down, I can go down to that DA70 device. That's the one I just created. Click on that. And look, here's the tag names. So now I can click here, set that up here. I may not need access to all the tags, but I can do that. And now that's going to talk to the DA70 as a server. And uh, go to town with my graph on HMI. That's all you got to do to get the data tags from the Flex Edge, which is the uh, C3 link server. And then, of course, the HMI in this case is going to be the DH, uh, going to be the C3 link client or master. Anyway, quick little video uh, making this for my buddy JT self. But uh, if you got any questions, let me know, team. And uh, sorry about my voice, I got bad allergies today. Have a great day, folks. See you later.